Hi, today I want to show you how to display your screen of your mobile phone uh, on your PC using a USB cable. First of all, you need to make sure your phone is set for USB debugging. Uh, you can find it under settings, but you have to enable it, otherwise you won't be able to see the developer options. I've got another video showing how to enable the developer options. If you go to developer option, you will find there's a USB debugging here. Turn that on. The next thing is you have to download a software. Go to the GitHub website. There's a software called Screen Copy SCRCPY. And I'm using the Windows version and simply download the Windows version here. It doesn't need installation. I simply unzipped all the files in the directory. It's a command line software. I can double click on this, but I prefer to run it on a console. So if there's an error message, I can see it. In order to do this, just press Windows plus R to start the terminal. I have to enter CMD. The next thing is I need to go to the directory where I put the unzipped files. So here are the files. Now I have to connect my mobile phone to the USB. I'm using my Galaxy Z Flip. So it's connected. Now I have to type in the command S CR AY For the first time you will see a message allow USB debugging. I would say always allow for this machine and then say allowed. There's a problem at the moment. If you see some kind of problem, it's always good to kill the server first before you rerun it. ADB Voila! You can see now, there's my screen. Now you can see my mobile phone screen is mirrored on my laptop. Not just the screen is uh, displayed on the laptop, I can even control using my mouse. Yeah, or use the screen as well. And now I can go to play something. Let's play a video. I can do it like landscape and turn on the sound. There's only a problem at the moment. The sound only comes out from my mobile phone. So it's here. You can hear it's here. So the, for the sound, I need another software in this case. In order to get the sound on your laptop, you need a software called SoundCopy, S-N-D-C-P-Y. And this is very similar to the other software, but this one is a little bit tricky. You need at least Android 10 and also VLC player installed. It's also a zip file, no installation is required. I already downloaded and unzip it here. Uh, this one is a little bit tricky. I haven't got my VLC player installed. I only got the portable version under this directory. The next thing I need to do is copy this path where I put my VLC player and go to the SNDCPY batch file, open it with an uh, editor and put the path here. This is my VLC player, vlc.exe. So that's the only thing I need to change, make sure the sound copy can find my VLC player. 
now start another console go to my south copy directory and enter sndcpy.bat let's have a look my screen is still on and run the sound copy the same thing I have to allow sound copy to access here then I have to press enter on my laptop okay let's play the video again okay the audio didn't work when I try to continue playing the video I have to restart the video player so let's go to my video and play it now I have to turn on the sound so I can hear it very obvious through my headphones now you can see the video is working and the sound is also working it's really nice I can control everything via the mouse and one thing I want to try out is to, uh, to see the latency okay now I'm using the stopwatch to check the latency here is my mobile phone connected via USB cable and let's start the watch hopefully I can freeze a frame and see it, a number according to the website of the screen copy there's a latency between 35 and 70 milliseconds and based on what I recorded from my stopwatch I got about 60 milliseconds uh, of course this depends on the refresh rate of my screen as well I hope you find this video useful if you like it please give me a thumb up thank you for watching bye